Researchers at UW Medicine in Seattle have grown human kidney structures in the lab. It's called the kidney on a chip, and it's the size of a credit card. So what we've been doing is actually taking stem cells and allowing them to undergo the process of embryonic development and grow into kidney structures. Kidneys remove excess fluids and waste from our bodies. These kidneys on a chip, called organoids, allow researchers to model human disease and test drug treatments. We hope to be able to predict using these chips what the effect of a particular therapy would be in the human body. And this goes not just for whether that therapy might work to cure a disease, but also to make sure that it's going to be safe. And lift off. In 2018, these chips will launch to the International Space Station to see how microgravity worsens kidney health. Back here on planet Earth, researchers are now moving forward, growing diseased kidneys on a chip to test new therapies. We've generated kidney organoids with polycystic kidney disease. In polycystic kidney disease, or PKD, large cysts form tiny tubes in the kidney, causing kidney failure. We found that the cyst formation is not just something that depends on the cells, but really depends on what's around the cells and the interaction of those cells with their microenvironment. In the future, researchers say they will study diseased kidneys on a chip to look for new treatments that might actually reverse kidney disease. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.